Hello everyone, my name is Brian Petty and I'm a certified ECW implementation specialist. And today we are gonna go over the eClinical Messenger patient balance campaign. So the first thing, if the practice does not have Messenger enabled, that would be the first step we would have to do. And we can go to the admin band and then product activation. And this will bring up the screen with um, all the eClinical Works product act, uh, on demand activation items. And we are going to scroll down and then find the messenger section here. And we already have this enabled. However, there would be um, an activate blue button right here that you would go ahead and select and click that. And it's going to go ahead and activate your messenger. Now, once that has been done, it will show up over in the Hilo on the left navigation bar. So if we click on Hilo, we are gonna to go to the first one, which is Messenger Campaigns, because we are just doing a campaign for this. We're not gonna um, configure any appointment reminders. So we will go ahead and click on Messenger Campaign. And this is gonna open up um, our all our campaigns in here. And this is ECW um, loads in a bunch of different campaigns and they're all listed all right here. Instead of going through and trying to find it, you have this little search box up here. We can go ahead and type in patient balance notification. That is the campaign we would are looking to select. And we can select enter, and then our patient balance notification um, comes up right here. Our first step is gonna be, we're gonna view details and activate. Now, this is a little preview overview of what the patient balance notification is. Basically, it's going to notify the patients of the balance on their account after a statement has been generated. Um, also, there are a few items at the bottom um, to note the patients with payer invoices generated and saved and the patient statement logs will be contacted as part of this campaign. And then also uh, the campaign is not compatible with practice using revenue uh, cycle management services. So those are two things to be aware of. You can also click on the details. Um, you're gonna have two options. You're only gonna have the SMS invoice for this. And again, the trigger is gonna be contacts patients with their balance amount when a statement has been generated and saved. The statement must be saved in the patient statement logs when generated in order for a patient to be eligible to be contacted. So those are kind of an overview and a few details. We also have a message example. And when we are gonna be doing the setup for this, we can actually change, um, change this. But you have your text and then your voice. And it's just a preview of the template that they have, that ECW has put in there. So it, to go ahead and start setting up this patient balance notification, we can go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the top right. And we're gonna have four tabs up at the top here. And these are all gonna be options how to personalize this campaign. Our first tab is gonna be your defined senders. And we can go here and we can select by facility. So if we want to just send it out uh, to one facility here, we could go ahead and highlight We'll do Missouri Medical Consultants here. And on the right side, we have the option to choose if it's which provider we want to use with this, or we can select the select all providers. Once we have these two fields done, you wanna scroll down to the bottom and go save and next. You're gonna to wanna to do that save and next after each of these tabs. The next tab is define recipients. So we have a few uh, different options in here. You have gender, age group, um, repeat on, provider type, and minimum patient balance. Now, with this patient balance um, campaign, you have the option to select male or female or both. Um, age group, if you didn't want to send it to a certain age group, we could select that as well. Days to repeat on. With your provider type, you have primary care provider. And also with the minimum patient balance, you can choose if you don't want to, if the balance is uh, $5 or less, it will not send that uh, patient uh, balance notification. And again, once these fields are all filled out, 
at the very bottom, you can go to Save and Next. And this is where you're going to be able to preview your messages. So there's two avenues you can go. You can do the text and the voice, or you can do both. And that would just be by selecting them both up and with the checkbox up here. Now to preview, you have your phone here and you can go down and preview which text message, what the text message is gonna say. So here's the template that is built in and it does have some tags in it. It has facility name, balance amount, and facility phone number. Now you are able to customize this for your practice, uh, what you would like for it to say. You also can preview the uh, live template for the voice and also the machine template. And again, you can come in here and customize this. Just be aware um, when you're doing that to make sure you have the right tags for the actual template. Once we are okay with our voice and SMS text, we can go down again at the very bottom, click Save and Next. And this is gonna bring up our confirmation page. It's gonna show us everything um, that we have just done. So it's kind of just going through and, and reviewing everything, your subscribe facilities, when this campaign's gonna start, what the messages are gonna look like. And once everything looks good, you can go ahead at the very bottom or it's actually at the top as well, and you can publish. And this will publish the patient balance notification campaign and it will be ready to start running.